Good afternoon, this is Jeff with Sewer Tech Northwest. Today we're at property address 1335 East Main Street here in Hillsboro. Located, uh, we're starting with the kind of ADU shop area. So the rearmost part of the property. Out the uh, back side of this thing, you've, you've got two different clean out accesses. My guess is this one here is probably for the ADU area. And this one is gonna be for the toilet that's inside kind of the more of the business part of things. So three inch ABS for both of them. A little bit of debris in the line there right when we dropped in. Anyway, we're gonna zero out here. Water's running. I've got water running from, I think every fixture right now, any main fixture anyway. I apologize. I've got my uh, one of my my auto leveling camera head is in the shop right now. I've got my regular old non auto leveler with me today. So, and my wireless system does not allow me to flip the image over. So I apologize for having to look at things upside down. It doesn't bug me, but I know for the viewer out there, it's not as it's kind of weird to look at. All right, so I'm gonna pull back here just a little bit. At this point here, we should have likely had the Y connection come into it from the ADU. I've got a lot of water running right now so I can get the camera out a long distance. This line is, is gigantic. So I'm gonna, I may very well start, well, first off, I'm gonna see how, how long each one of these branches is. That right there might've been the Y in. It's hard to see it. That, that looks like it right there though. all said and done this other clean out here might be the better one to use to run the distance because it's a directional style clean out where the other one is a two-way yeah that right there is the Y so what we're gonna do I'm gonna turn the water off for the uh, the shop bathroom area we'll let that drain off and take a look at that section and then we're gonna do everything else to this other clean out all right, so I just turned the water off. I just moved back over to the original clean out here that's, that services the bathroom for the, kind of the shop business area. So that's just about done draining off here. We'll come out here until we meet up with that Y connection. Which is right there. You can see how we pick up the water flow there. So about six feet in is where that ties in there. And we'll do everything, you know, as far as we can anyway from the other clean out. It's just a nicer one to use. Actually, now that Y may actually come in here a little bit sooner than I thought. I think what you're getting here is a little bit of backflow. You can see how we got some, a little bit of water rippling towards us. Realistically, on a line that is this length, um, I, I look at these lines a bit different than your average sewer line. Your average sewer line's about, oh, 65 feet. You have a lot of room to play with. On a, lot, on a house like this, your, your tolerances for grading the line are usually extremely tight, and I treat them a little bit different in your average sewer line because of that. As far as gradation things go, like bellies. So we just went backwards there, back inside the house, zero standing water going back into the home, or the shop, I should say. And right here, you're working with about a quarter inch of standing water, and then you're gonna get a little bit of backflow water. I've got a bathtub running full bore. So some of this water would dissipate off if I were to shut that off there. So 16th quarter inch of standing water, that's not the kind of stuff I'm concerned about causing flow problems, not unless the line is being abused very, very heavily. So that section of pipe there has adequate flow through it and the pipe is, is intact and in good shape. 
we're gonna move over to this other clean out here. This is the one that comes off the, uh, the bathroom for the ADU. Sorry, Jessica. Ran into you All right, so this first initial run here, the camera is going to be zipping along. I'm just going to try and get it out as far as we can go. We'll drain the line out completely, and then we'll have a. I do lines like this all in reverse. Right now, my camera is upside down, in case you're wondering. Sitting here talking to myself with the microphone turned off, apologize. So there at about 175 feet, we were sitting about 25 feet straight out from the four inch ABS clean out in front of the main house. So the line's not fully drained yet. We're gonna do a little bit of overlapping here as we come back. So some of this pipe we're gonna, we're gonna probably see again here when we drop into that clean out, out in front of the main house. 
So what I was getting at earlier, I feel like I got sidetracked um, when I was moving the camera around. Lines that are this length, I treat entirely different from your average sewer line. Um, in total here, it wouldn't surprise me if we end up scoping, I mean, over 400 feet of sewer line. On a flat property like this, I mean, your, your likelihood of not having bellies in a line this length is it's almost zero. Unless you're up on an extremely steep hillside where the property provides natural slope and grade, um, a line this length, it's, it's near impossible to have it graded in an ideal fashion, you know, where it drains off completely. You're working with very tight tolerances. You have a main lateral out in the street out there that's at, you know, it's at a set depth and, and often those, those mains are not set at depths to, you know, beautifully accommodate a line of this length. In a perfect world, when you run a line this long, your main lateral is 25 feet deep, which gives you gargantuan amounts of space to, to grade that line and dive it really nicely. So these are running right at quarter inch per foot. So anyway, what I'm getting at here is when, it, when you're talking repairing bellies on these things, you end up having to, to repair such massive lengths of them to correct standing water that just doesn't make sense from a cost benefit standpoint. So what I rather see people do is you treat them nicely. You want to treat the line like a septic system. Even when a line is graded perfectly, when they're this long, they are much more prone to debris hanging up, especially improper items. As you, you don't have a specially designed toilet in there that, that's trying to blast stuff out 400 feet. It's the same toilet you're going to have on, a, on your average sewer line for a regular home. So stuff just is more prone to slowing down. So what I tend to tell people is keep, you know, keep it to folded toilet paper only. No wipes, no paper towels, grease, cooking oil, the stuff you know you shouldn't put down the line. And then what I always, what you always want to do is rescope at about the one year mark, which kind of gives you a baseline for how the line is handling your living habits. Um, every home lives different from one another. These folks have kept this thing pretty darn clean. And you do have standing water throughout portions of it. I mean, what we're going through right now is, you know, it's like a sixteenth of an inch, maybe a quarter inch in some spots. But for the length this line is, this is actually doing pretty darn good. Um, when you get lines this long, it's not uncommon to have just humongous sections of them that are fully submerged in inches of standing water. So I, I'd, I'd rather see people, rather than spend tons and tons of money fixing stuff that likely won't remain in grade to begin with, um, is do periodic hydrojetting, maintenance hydrojetting, if, if you have enough buildup to justify doing it. So that, that's where rescoping at about a, at the one year mark is a good idea because it gives you a baseline for the level of buildup you're getting associated with the living habits that are here. You know, some people work from home, they use their bathrooms all day long. Some people spend 12 hours a day at the office and hardly ever use their bathrooms, and some folks don't do hardly any cooking at their house. So you can get some different levels of buildup based upon those factors. These folks have done a pretty pretty good job here. And we just had a toilet flush come down line. So some of that water you're seeing there is flowing water. Now on these big giant lines like this, what I'm looking for is big major stuff, mostly breaks in the line and hard obstructions like offset joints, things of that nature. And I'll stop periodically here. You can see most of that water is flowing off there. Thus far, I think about the worst standing water I've seen is, is probably about a quarter of an inch. Under normal circumstances where I, I start to consider repairs is once you're at about the inch mark. Not that you can't get built up in a quarter inch of standing water, you certainly can, uh, but generally speaking, it's improper stuff. Grease, cooking oil, things that should not be going down your line to begin with. A quarter inch of water does very little to affect, you know, regular old folded toilet paper. So out to about 175 feet there, line all appears intact and quite clean. I mean, it's at a point right now, it wouldn't hurt to clean it just to get it back down to base for the new homeowners, but very minimal buildup. Relative to your average normal house, this thing has less buildup in it than your average 65 foot sewer line does. If that tells you anything. <clears throat> so we're gonna make a second video here. We're gonna stop recording and we'll start a new one up when we move over to the main house.